In this video, we'll review how to use an inverted microscope. First, let's go over the basic parts you'll be using. Light switch, light dial, the objective wheel, binocular tubes, coarse focusing knob, fine focusing knob, microscope stage, light source, and the phase contrast slider. The inverted microscope gets its name from the placement of the light source and the objectives. On a traditional light microscope, the light is actually below the specimen while the objectives are above the specimen. This setup requires that the object you're looking at be on a thin microscope slide. However, in the cell culture lab, we use bulky tissue culture flasks like this one. So we have to use an inverted microscope to give us more room. The first thing you want to do is turn on the light source, adjust the light brightness, and place your cell culture flask on the microscope stage. The next step is to adjust the binocular tubes to fit your eyes specifically. So all our eyes are set apart at different lengths and it's really important to adjust the eyepieces to fit your eyes in particular. So what you'll do is place your eyes within about an inch of the eyepiece, spread apart the binocular tubes, and slowly bring them closer together until the double vision that you see becomes one clear image. So once you find that image, you can stop moving the binocular tubes, and now it's time to start magnifying. I recommend that you start with the lowest objective setting. For this microscope, it's a 4x. So as with the traditional light microscopes, it's possible for the objective to come through and hit the specimen. To prevent this, I recommend that you move the objective lens so that it's almost touching the flask. That way you can only back up and you won't hit the specimen. All right, so we'll back up using the course adjustment knob. And once you maintain a focus with the lowest magnification, you can increase the objective by turning the objective wheel and it'll maintain your focus. You may need to use the fine adjustment knob at this point, but the majority of your focus should still be maintained. Okay. Another common problem cell biologists have is that the cells are translucent and we have to introduce contrast in order to see the cells very clearly. So this is the contrast slider and it has two positions, the phase contrast, which is here, and the Varel contrast, which has two settings, here and here. You'll know that you're in a position when you hear a click and you feel resistance. So let's go back to the phase contrast you hear that click. That means you're in the right setting. So let's take a look at our cells now. They look much clearer. So that's how we use an inverted microscope. 